come from and why do we even need them? Well, the first dates on food were on milk in the 1930s, but it wasn't till about the 70s that they were widespread in stores and now they're a legal requirement and you see terms like use by dates and best before dates in Europe and then around the world you'll also see terms like sell by dates which you know, all have slightly different meanings but in general there's two reasons that we want to put dates on food safety and quality so we want to know if we eat the food that we won't get sick and we want to know that if we take the food home it's not going to have spoiled by the time we get around to eating it. For use by dates then, how are these usually decided? So the way we choose use by dates, it hasn't changed for 50 or so years. So for example on chicken or, or, or meat or fish, we will take 20 or so packs and we'll open one every day and we'll see when it spoils and then that's the shelf life. Uh, and so you know the industry is doing this once a year uh, for every type of food and, and they'll be storing the foods at controlled temperatures that are supposed to simulate the, the temperatures that the food would be going through uh, through to the stores and through to people's homes. But yeah, it really comes down to 20 packs once a year to determine use by dates. Well, they're chosen to cover the worst case, right? They have to do that. But that ends up causing eye-watering amounts of waste, both in stores and in homes. So even though the dates are you know, based on samples or 20 or so packs and tested once a year, the dates have to be correct, like for almost every pack. You know, if you buy 100 packs, they should all be high quality, right? None of them should smell bad or make you sick, right? But in reality, there's this variation. There's this variation between every pack, both inside each pack and from the journey of each pack. So you take a pack of chicken, even if you have two chicken breasts from the same bird, they can start with different initial levels of bacteria when they're packed. And then the journey of each of those packs could be different as well. You know, how long is your journey home? What temperature is your fridge at? What time of year is it? And the dates are chosen to cover all of this variation. But what that means is most packs in most locations, most of the year, have scope for more life. But most food that is wasted is still good to eat, right? And if you go to any food store, they'll be wasting you know, at least five to 10% of fresh food because the dates run out. And you know, say with fresh chicken, fresh meat, fresh fish, you know, after it's used by date, usually it's still fresh and it's still good to cook. How much of it is actually preventable? Right, so to figure out how much of the waste is preventable, we're actually running a study on this right now. So we're going out to loads of stores and buying lots of different food and we're measuring how fresh it is and we're going to see if it lasts longer than the printed use by date and for every extra day that it lasts we can then calculate the waste that would have prevented in stores and at home. How does Black Bear measure shelf life? So Black Bear has invented the tiny sensor that goes inside packs and it measures the gas that bacteria give off as they grow and spoil the food. So the sensor can be applied to say, packs of fresh meat and fish and poultry, and, uh, and then it will measure the freshness of the pack. So it's like a digital sniff test, uh, but it takes the guesswork out of when these types of food are still good to eat. So firstly, we're bringing shelf life testing into the real world, right? So instead of 20 packs once a year tested in simulated temperatures, we are sending packs of food with freshness sensors through the real supply chain, measuring 
the reality and in doing so unlocking real shelf life which enables less waste both in stores and at home but our mission here is is really to bring about the transition away from fixed use by dates you know, instead of a, a date that is printed and it you know, can't react to any changes in the food or in the journey of the food your food should tell you when it's fresh when it's good to eat 